Wow. Okay. Cool. Sweet. Three, two, one. Ah, jeez. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Oh my gosh, I'm peeking so loud. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Biendow stream. My name is Biendow, and I hope you appreciate that you have rocked up on the stream on this wonderful 2nd of May 2022. That's right, there's three twos in the day. Count them one, two, three. That's all good. Uh. Where do I usually go with this? It's been like a couple of weeks. I spent one week off to, to have an Easter break and then I got very, very sick with a bit of a bit of an infection. So I was just like, uh, not, not great for, for doing a stream last week, but I'm feeling way better now because I slept and I woke up at 8.29 and said, oh dang, let's plan the stream. And then I was like, okay, let's open up OBS and oh no, it's not hooking into the game. And I figured it out two minutes before stream, so that's all good. But yeah, no, it's the beginning of May. Uh, it's uh, getting cooler here in the Sydney land, but that's okay because uh, we got jackets, we got umbrellas, and most importantly, we got computers running Furmark all the time. That, that keeps us warm in the winter, I guess. Uh, so, today, I, let's, let's, let's do the, the let's play a voice crack all the time. Today, I'm playing a new game on stream. Let's jump right into it. Let's see if this works, this transition works. Oh, I, I caught the tail end of the audio. Here we are, Super Mario Galaxy 2. A game that I prefer over the original. And I preferred it so much that I didn't give the first game the courtesy of playing it uh, on my channel. I only stuck it to the, oh, I'm playing along with the the attacking toucans versus, and then I kind of finished the game way sooner than they did, so I was like, oh, okay. Then I wanted to play this game, and I got like halfway <laughs> and I didn't even finish it. I think it was probably a combination of the capture card being a bit painful and uh, running the, well, doing, doing the weird editing where I was doing like an annotation fancy menu, trying to chug a Conroy it up when really it's overkill. You don't have to do it. You just play the game like you do. Anyway, this game came out in 2010. It wowed me just as much as the first game did. I was equally as hyped for this one because I was like, oh, it's Mario Galaxy, but again. And yeah, it is kind of that, but you'll see a lot of differences and there's a lot of a design ethos change, which I actually think works for the better in this one. Um, but I think, let's jump into it first of all. So down from six saves, it's only two. I have a save, which says it's from yesterday because I toyed around it yesterday, uh, but it was actually from 2019. I've apparently kept my emulator saves for that long. We can pick a new game file. Let's creepily pick the uh, same ones. Let's pick the let's pick the Luma. We're not picking the me. I'm not going with the me. Look at that Luma. It even blinks. I don't. Maybe the me blinks. Look at that. You can change the icon though. So uh, let's hope that I've got my uh, sensor bar working fine this time. Last time it was a complete crapshoot. So, how does this game start? Well, it's mostly the same as the last game. Actually, so much so that, you know, they, they have to kind of go, Oh, this is a news story that also begins with Stardust. Shimmering Stardust falls on the Mushroom Kingdom once a century. That time had come again. And then they use the exact same voice line. Share some cake while we watch the shooting stars meet me at the castle. Hasten to the castle. Yahoo! So Mario jumps out, and uh, we are greeted by the Star Festival. Oh, <laughs> Star Festival just begun. Toads everywhere, we're celebrating. You can go left. Nothing left, I don't know why. Uh, but yeah, you, same controls apart from 2D. Toads here saying hi. Talking about star bits, grab the star bits. We've got our classic Mario platforms, or, or question mark blocks. Can't spin, don't do it. It's an interesting kind of beginning prelude, just because, I guess, in contrast to how the first game worked, where it was this wide open 3D environment, we now get a straight linear 2D. Oh gosh, he's telling us PlayStation cheat codes. The strange little fellow seemed confused. Was he lost? And then he spins around on Mario's hat. Mario is absolutely, he is, the hat is the source of his, you know, intellect. The moment you take it off. 
No brain. Mario's cap filled with warmth as he felt a new power surging through him. Also, that's right, we now get the spin. It took like 30 seconds. Anyway, here you go, shake the spin, teach you how to break the stuff. Slopes. It's kind of the same game though, there's nothing that really is here that you haven't seen beyond like a 2D section. What's this? Was this one of the little fellow's friends? Where am I? I, I love this wall as well, just because, like, it's, <laughs> it's, a uh, you can jump, oh, you can't quite get over it. They don't let you do it, unfortunately. Again, still 2D. Or well, not, not 2D. This is a big Bowser. Bowser got very big in this game. Don't know what happened. You can explore, no, you can't really. Can you shoot that? Oh, no really. Okay. Big Bowser's jumping around, you know, as, as it is. You're too late, Mario. The power of the stars is already mine, and look what else I've got. Little, little tiny peach. Little tiny peach chilling up there. I'm huge. Even scary up close, huh? Maybe I'll have Peach bake me something for once. Bowser, kids game. Oh, cake? Yeah. Pe Peach's world famous uh, cakes. Anyways, apparently the Mushroom Kingdom uh, is on a very tiny planet and Bowser flies into space. It just kind of happens. Anyways, uh, at least he fixed the sky, but you know. It took some of the, um, some of the, I don't know why the word is escaping me right now. What's the word for, for royalty? I guess royalty. Just, that's it. We still got this, this courtyard as always, but there's nothing really too much. You can't even do the Lakitu skip because they've got the walls up too high. Mario, where did that monster come from? He took your princess to the center of the universe. You must hurry and save her, they say. Oh, Master Luma. Young Master Luma, did you get thrown overboard too? Good thing you're safe. I see, so you're going to stay in Mario's cap? That should be safe for now. Man, that's that's some real commitment right there. But Mario, you have other things to worry about, like saving the princess, but how? I know, with young Master Luma's help, you can use the power of the stars. And we Lumas can help a little too. I, I love, by the way, they've got to do the little pictures just to tell you what they are, as thanks for saving our friends, we'll send you into space to get that monster. Now, let's go after them. Yep, nope, no lack of two skip. I'm gonna get into the castle though. Nope, that's also a wall. Okay, into space. Hey there, Mr. Plane, how's it going? So, what does Mario Galaxy 2 do differently to the first game? You get this music, Key shifted, it's not the same key as the first game, I don't know why. Who knows. Peewee Piranha's Temper Tantrum. This game kind of treads along the same lines as the first one for quite a fair bit. We have our Not Good at Galaxy, our Power Stars, they're gone, some, some gigantic monster stole them. If you're going after that monster, you might see our Power Stars out there too. Please bring our Power Stars back. We Loomers will help you along your way. Okay. So you could be the kind of guy who, uh, I'm pretty sure you... I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this with a backflip first. I'm pretty sure you can do this jump. That Illumis told me about you. Thanks for helping us. I'm gonna transform into a launch star. Come over and fly. Whoops, that's the way you're supposed to go. I might as well just kind of show off the rest of the level. So here we have a little billboard. Hello, friend. Let's go around the back. Ooh, thanks for the follow, Mr. Silly Sammy. Appreciate it. Appreciate it a bit. Uh... We got two pipes, so basically teaching you the pipe thing, same thing as the beginning of the galaxy. One up, you got an extra life. I don't know if it tells you that every time you uh, you start up the game, but we got our little Goombas. You hit them over, they die. Simple enough. Now this is probably the thing. This game introduced a couple of journalist features will say so here's a tip you can spin to defeat enemies want to see how this will be the only time i ever use this board because it's such a momentum killer it's like okay i'm in the game you told me how to do it 
And now, the game is playing itself. Just to demonstrate that, yeah, you can spin enemies and kick them. Maybe, maybe playtesters were, you know, get close to an enemy and shake the worm to spin. Once a day's kick him out of this world. If you jump on top of an enemy, a coin will appear. Grab coins to restore life. Like, maybe someone on their first playthrough, you know, too many kids just didn't understand that you just walk into them while they're in this stun state. But, I don't know, man. I thought the first game was pretty explanatory, so... Anyways, it's interesting that Yoshi tells you to walk around the back. But, you can go down the middle, and out you go the other side. Did you like how this was covered, by the way, until I broke the ice on the other side? What's on the top? Oh, I'm out helping some friends right now. Sorry if I missed you. There goes Yoshi. Oh. Is the Luma transforming again? He untransformed while I did the thing. Oh. So, this is kind of like the starting planet in the Good Egg Galaxy, and even that's a bit ominous, isn't it, seeing the, the egg planet in the back there. Still got the same controls of pointing and picking up star bits, but you're going to notice a bit more uh, linearity with some of the levels, uh, and levels that feel a lot more uh, platformy. Um, you could be the kind of pro person, there's a lot of nice little shortcuts that you can do, like here. You know, you could do these jumps. By the way, you now have flags to be explicit checkpoints. Usually find these in a lot more places. Just give yourself more lives. Why not? Three lives. That's all you need. You'll also have these things in levels. You stand on them, shake. And it's your goal as a little bonus game to... You know, try and defeat all the enemies. You know, pretty self-explanatory, but... How many more lives did you need, by the way? There's <laughs> so many lives, man. So many. And then you're seeing that out there, you're like, what's going what is going on over there? Anyways, you run out of your star and you come back, but hey. I'm on my second planet in the game and I've already got ten lives. Eleven lives, I can't count. It's a bit of an interesting kind of area, I guess. The gentle platforms, but the still, you know, a little bit of a rush. We gotta show off that we've got crazy gravity, so you can do this kind of cool little forward flip. You know, why not? The crazy gravity is played a little bit uh, to a minimum in this game. There's not as much of it. You'll also have this happen, where uh, you'll need to pick up coins. Uh, very, very important. So in the first game, we had uh, the Hungry Loomers, they required an exorbitant amount of star bits. In this game, I, I guess they're, they're still around, but sometimes there's ones that ask for coins. So I think it's good to keep on top of the coins. That being said though, coins are still the same health as always. You could go for that one up. Uh, there it is. Uh, also, note this item down here. Very, very important. I'm gonna backflip onto this platform, and we're gonna wander around this little tube planet until it comes up. You got a comet medal. Collect them to make comets appear. So this game keeps it a little bit simpler. Uh, with the that's the Luma. This game keeps it a little bit simpler. Comets appear if you have a comet medal, and that's it. Which star the comet medal is in does depend, but you just gotta pick it up. And then, yeah, comments will appear later. We've got our life shroom. You gotta explain how that works, yep. I didn't even mention which galaxy this is. This is Sky Station Galaxy. Also, classic level design. Of course, hide a life behind here. That's right, 12 lives already. I see Starlight over there. It's got the same musical cues, it's they're not even hinting that it's like... I get. I guess this isn't like supposed to be the big, grand Mario follow-up though. It's supposed to be a, more of the same sequel. Uh, but yeah, you fight this guy in a little bit of a less obvious way. The shell is big enough to just kind of take an assumption. It's not the, the face with teeth. Oh, he's running. And he's very, very sad. 
I still love the way that, like, you know, these bosses animate. It's good fun. Anyways, you kick his butt enough times. Now I'm angry! I also like how he loses a pedal. I'd say he's a little bit more involved than Dino Piranha, because he's... He makes a bit of a run, but you could probably... You could probably outrun him before he jumps. Like a bit. Or not. And he's making a run. And there he goes. Kicked his butt. No more butt. He doesn't need it. And would you look at that. A wonderful, shiny, still as perfect as ever, Power Star. One of... Uh, probably more than many in this game, because this game also has a little bit of an extended, uh, post-game, I guess. But where have we ended up using this recycled animation from the first game? Well, who knows? Also, you get, <laughs> you get judged. There's your time. Every time. So. You got some star bits and some coins. Make sure you're collecting them. Very important. So what are we on? Also, who is this purple chap with the blue, uh, checked p pants? It's literally a checkerboard pants. So you're this Mario guy. My little loomers won't stop babbling about him, alright? Sorry to hear about the excitement you had with that monster down in the Mushroom Kingdom. I sure appreciate you bringing us this power star, though. We need as many of these as we can get. The name's Lubber, by the by. I'm the head honcho of this Luma crew. See, believe it or not, we're on a spaceship right now. Took some real elbow grease to convert this little planetoid into a ship, but we Loomers pulled it off. May not look my uh, blah, may not look like much, but it's home. Yeah. Truth be told, the ship, she's not in such hot shape right now. We ran into that monster too. He blasted us with meteors, and some of my crew were thrown overboard. Yeah. So that monster kidnapped your princess, eh? That's cold. Deep space cold, if you ask me. Yeah. You know what else is called? That monster stealing every last one of our power stars. See, that's our fuel. Our spaceship runs on energy from... Star picture. Without that, we're stranded here. Hey, oh, hey is that... Is, is that young Master Luma? It is, isn't it? Wow. Wait, if you have the trust of young Master Luma, hmm. Say, I just might have a little proposition for you. Hear me out now, your special someone got kidnapped, and now you gotta save her. Am I right? Well, uh, I'm gonna choose the, the right option, of course. And we need fuel for our ship. Now, if you think you could get some of our stars back for us, I'd be willing to make the ship your very own for a bit. That's a fair exchange, am I right, Mario? Well, <laughs> there you go. Alright, it's a deal. Okay, gang, let's get cracking, yeah? I want everything space ship shape. And <laughs> here we have, uh, Lover's crew rebuilt the spaceship to look just like Mario. Well, why do you think? Nice spaceship, yeah? More like a faith ship. <laughs> well, at least you'll never lose it in a parking lot, am I right? <laughs> yeah, okay. So what's next? Don't look at me. This ship has your face on it, not mine. The decision is yours. Feel free to explore Starship Mario, or take the helm if you're ready to ship out. It's your call, Captain. So the, so the, the face ship, as it lovingly gets referred to, um... Also, yeah, okay, tell, tell me how to quit, yeah, sure. Um, the face ship is effectively the replacement for the Comet Observatory. There's a pipe. Drops out here. This Luma is all just like, oh, oh, I'm jumping on him. He goes, my job is to take energy from each star and convert it into fuel. So if this is the central, you know, star whatever. You can exit out this wonderful little hole on the Mario's face. Other than that few star bits, nothing too fancy, uh, he's got steam coming out of his ears, uh, pretty much it gives you some basic tutorials, but there's nothing to really do on the face ship, which is, uh, one thing I like and one thing I don't, or well, one thing people don't like about this game, they go like, oh, it doesn't have the, the charm of the starship, uh, sorry, of the, yeah, of the observatory, and I'm just like, I don't know, I like, I like, it's really simple, it's just to hit this button to, to play the game. And then the rest is just some nice little bonus goodies. 
Well, Mario does not. <laughs> he's not forklift certified. How is he face shift certified? Like, come on. And he's off into space yet again on a wonderful adventure to collect another 119 more power stars. But what's this? So, this is the world map. Just point your cursor at the destination and press A to jump into that galaxy. Like I said, this spaceship runs on energy from power stars. Right now, it looks like we've got enough power to go this far. We're gonna need more power stars, so let's do it for your princess and my crew. Take it away, Captain. So yep, instead of domes with a level select, you have just one level select. You can also go back to the Sky Station, which I shall do. But it's such a more streamlined experience, I think it's way for the better. I don't know why people complain about it. Legit, it's just so nice to have one menu to go to all the levels instead of six physical locations that you're going to walk around to. I swear, I've probably got about like 20 minutes of walking around the observatory in, in my last streams for Mario Galaxy. And that's 20 minutes that you'll never get back. So, the second uh, star of this one, storming the space fleet, we got these little, uh, the bounty things. They've been in the first game, but all these little chain chomps here. For the second star, I think they kind of expect, like, a fair bit. How did that not get them? I don't know if there's anything for getting all the chain chomps, but I really want to see what happens. Oops. Oops, there goes all my star bits. Uh, like the first game, it's got a wonderful orchestrated score. I'd probably say it's just as good. Maybe it doesn't have as many bangers though. Uh, we had the pipe down there, but you can do the long jump. Long jump works as well. Ooh, check out that reflex. Oh my gosh, okay. We'll get the star, we'll just go around, we'll get him. Oh, and this one had a key. And I picked up the key immediately. Nice. Uh, but yeah, just like the first game, uh, level or galaxies have multiple stars. In this game, it's actually quite, like, streamlined down. Most galaxies only have two stars, and they might chuck one bonus star at you, but they're not going to really linger in one galaxy too much. And uh, I, I think that actually kind of helps balance things out, because in the first game you had, you know, clearly the levels that were larger and they cared about more, and the levels that were you know, a bit smaller and more bonus ones. Whereas this one, I don't know, each, each level feels equally held. Big Banzai Bills, lovely contrast from the more grassy areas of the beginning of the game, and actually more of the Sky Station that we were promised into the hole, and we get more of this uh, weird gravity stuff. I think this kind of falls a bit under the radar. Some people don't quite realize that the first game never did, like, this kind of crazy gravity, where you're in a tube, constantly circling the tube, but it's effectively a 2D section. It's a little bit confusing. It's a cool effect, though. I like it. I think it's a little bit confusing when you see stuff in front of the tubes, like, suddenly appear. Usually a, a barrier. But at least they- oh, there we go, I took damage. Take notes. Um, but at least they stopped the bullet bill, so. And we break out, and away we go, to continue on. Do you think they were done with these mechanics? I love their little, you know, switches. Ah, they put more star bits up here. Watch out, they say. Yeah, no, I, I really enjoyed this game the first time I played it. Ah, yes, here's another pro tip. Let's see if I can pull it off again. So we got the little Shadow Marios. They keep following you. Uh, actually, they almost spawn three of them, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> they realize from the first game. The little, the little uh, cosmic Shadow Marios. When you pick, hit all the switches, they all break into star bits, and they realize that players would keep trying to spawn the jillions of them, which they still keep in in some places, but right now they're like, no, don't, don't farm. Don't farm the star bits, we don't want you to farm them that much. This is another cool planet, but again it ties into this idea of maybe it's a bit linear and set. You know, here's a big wall, can't do anything about it. Here is the platforms. But still. 
Get him. Hey! <laughs> I still think it's kind of neat to defeat the Piranha Plants in this game. It was very hard in Mario 64, although you could punch it. Whoop, whoop. So now we've got to go on coming to the Banzai Bill. Oh, he's totally going to spawn on me, isn't he? Yep. What? Nope. Nope. <laughs> Not today. Okay, well, to the star. Anyways, that is star number two. Is this going to be another five stream affair? Maybe. I'm taking my sweet time right now, huh? 25 minutes in, I've only picked up two stars. Like, what's going on? I'll try my best, but... This game's great. I like it. Really good fun. As you collect more power stars, uh, Blubber will keep chiming in and telling you, which I could give you more help than just cheering from the sidelines. You know, a friend with another Wiramo can join up with you. Then one of my co-star Loomers can help out. They can help you take down enemies and get you some extra star bits. So if you want a partner, don't be shy about asking a friend to jump in. The co-star Luma is the same as the two-player mode in the first game. A little more involved. You can actually freeze enemies. It feels intentional. That's both stars, by the way. We're done. We're done. That's why, that's why I really like the brevity of this game. It's like, boom, boom, straight into a new level. But yeah, uh, it's, it's just the two player feature. It's just it's still there. Saddle up with Yoshi in the Yoshi Star Galaxy. What is that bizarre thing? And again, on, it's on the cover of the game. So it was something that we knew immediately getting into it. I love this song, by the way, it's great. It's real vibin' dinosaur jungle music. It's very jungle music and there's no trees on the, on the screen at all. It's the kind of music you expect out of a Yoshi level, though. And we got a little magic people right away, who immediately gets wrecked by a spin attack. Break the barrier. And what do we have here? Let's jump on it. Whoa. So happy. What did she hatch from the egg? You saved me! Ah, he speaks English as well. I was trying to save my friends, but then I got turned into an egg and trapped. I know, we should team up. Come on, hop on my back. Okay, and yeah. You can jump on Yoshi, you get the... the Congo drums in the back. Or are they bongo drums? The bongo drums. Congo drums are the big ones. Uh... You know, it's just like Mario Sunshine in that regard, but it controls so much better. You can't do the weird spin thing though. Yoshi is kind of fixed, you can actually see I'm hitting the, the turning circle. Um, but he's also, he's changed the cursor into this like red dot, and you can actually eat people with bee or fruits. And you can do the backflip off him, although you can't spin. Well that's an important- oh. <laughs> Maybe I should have seen the button, the, the platform. Yoshi's just chilling though, and he's not too hard to, to find. I don't know, the Yoshi, the Yoshi mechanic is a, a fun new one. He still does the head shake as well if you want, which you're gonna need in case you accidentally kiss this thing. And you can still go into these little platforms. There we go, let's get more of them. Look them up, look them up. Oh. How many lives did you want? I've got 17, bro. I've got too many. If there's, if there's one thing with this game, just like the first one, it is on the easier side, but that's okay. It's not about how challenging it is necessarily, it's about how fun of an experience it is. You can pull back on things as well, you just hold down B on it and you go for it. And Yoshi comes with you to different planets as well. And you gotta have the volcano blow up. How can you have a volcano and not have a blow up? Oh, Yoshi is available on every planet if you do wish to know, but you can also kick the dice and be incredibly unlucky. But then spawn to a Goomba on me. Cool. Let's get him. Oh, and there's a launch star hiding in the ice. I guess if anything, there's a bit of a visual contrast in this game with it being in daytime, I guess? 
If Yoshi gets hit, he'll run away. Be careful, hop onto his back quickly, or he'll come back here. Yes, so the egg keeps reappearing back in a nest spot on every planet. Um, and yeah, you lose Yoshi just like, uh... There's another game where Yoshi runs away like that. I guess Mario World, isn't it? We get hit and Yoshi falls, you know, fall off and Yoshi's falling back. I kind of like this uh, planet idea, the little tall platform that you get to climb up. Like, it takes the, the gravity idea, but keeping it fairly grounded. I kind of like that. I know people are saying, I'm, I'm going to say, like, oh, how could you say that? It's boring. I'm not using crazy gravity. But I, I think there's a degree of, like, you know, keeping the crazy gravity to, you know, respectable levels. Plus, you could do some silly level design like here. No crazy gravity needed, just... I like pulling these daisy chains, the little flowers that... Oh, there's a donut. These little flowers that you can swing off. So, so, so. <laughs> I, I like that, where you can kick the spider. There's so many things I like about this game. It's great. It takes me back to a simple time. Back when games were just a thing, you, you collect the stuff, and you have a good time. I feel like people always, like, have that nostalgic tone. Oops. Don't run off. Thank you all. And yes, you do take the hit, anyways. Let's, let's get this star out. Uh, but you know what I mean? It's like some people do, like, have that real, like, oh, games used to be way better in the past, and it's like, oh, like, like <laughs> one, this game isn't that old, it's 2010. Like, 20, 2010 is only 12 years ago. It's, it's not a crazy long ago time. I think when I, like, first started playing games, I guess, <laughs> which would have been, what, like, 90s, 98 or something? It was 12 years before that, 1986. That was when, like, Zelda came out. Ugh. And I got a comet medal, why not? They give you a counter there, but it's not as productive to have the counter as just knowing what levels you've got your thing in. But, Starship Mario can now advance. You need three stars to continue on, you'll probably never see that ever again. Say, I don't mean to pry or anything, but what is that thing over there? Ugh! I mean, be straight with me, pal. You hatching alien eggs now? <laughs> just right on the nose. So yeah, I mean, you can get Yoshi, but there's nothing really to it. Uh, so, let's do the second star of the Yoshi Star Galaxy. Spiny Control. In we go. But yeah, I always find, like, being nostalgic for uh, a time gone by is a bit of an interesting one. Because, I mean, I play a lot of, like, old games just in general. Um... But I also feel like, you know, yes. like I don't feel nostalgic necessarily, I feel like I'm just kind of looking into a window of the past. Ah. Got a little spiny here, spinies are scary, you can't even defeat them with your own Mario hands. You have to get the, the tried and true method, which is a Yoshi egg. Check out the billboard here and it goes, oh yes, yeah, so hop on Yoshi just by spinning, you don't even have to jump. What a nice to know. There's a Lakitu chilling up there. He's a goner. He's a goner. Oh. There you go. The spinies can be spined. And, this is a fun thing, so the spiny is in your mouth and you can spit it out at things. It's like a little shell, I guess. Yeah, you can use these to effectively smash open the gates. And if you keep the Lakitu around, it'll spawn more of them. So that's cool. I can get all these cylinders. Oops. Oh, well, probably not that bad. This one's a trickier one, I'll tell you that. Oh well, no lies for me. That's okay. You can be the kind of guy who goes all the way up. Oops. Let's get the first death as well off the, off the stream. 
Yeah, you could be kind of weird in getting the, the one up over there. I wonder if the Comet Metal is still here. It probably is. If we didn't pick it up earlier. Give us another explosion. The good stuff. Uh, but yeah, yeah I, I don't know how to really, like, uh, interpret... Not interpret, because that sounds like, you know, no feelings. But, like, I always find nostalgia to be a bit of a weird one, because... Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I just always play old stuff. I always feel... Like, I'm in this nostalgic period. I always keep playing games that have various ages. Um, I was going to say I played a Super C this week and very nearly beat it. I feel like that would have gone to a secondary planet and I missed it. Oh. Oops. Oops. Lots of lighting on this uh, platform, but... Yeah, I, and I guess the, the thing that kind of got me on on that was a uh, there's a new um uh digital foundry retro video on a uh, basically grand Turismo one two three and four which are the only ones that i played and i'm like oh wow like these games are cool these games are great there's so many cool reasons why they're cool and great and uh and uh i think most importantly in in those videos uh they went through like a bunch of competing games that were around at the time did anyone ask for a boss fight? This game's got great bosses, by the way. People sleep on it. I only remember what the first game's bosses were. Now, granted, what's this guy's name? I don't know. I'm gonna say Lightning Lakitu. Or Larry Lakitu or something. What does he do? He fires spikies at you. Or spinies. Hit him in the old-fashioned way. With good old... Arrows to the face. Now I'm angry, I'm doing lightning. The drum is such a nice touch though. And also the fact that the cloud gets angry with them, apparently. It's a very happy cloud until it's not. Whoops. He did dodge it though. Whoops. No. Bad. Do not. Do not want. Let's see if I can get him at this angle. That was a horrendous angle. Cool. Please judge me. Oops. Continue judging me. You like how Yoshi, like, doesn't, you know, un eight the... Spiny. There you go. Oh, he, he's, he's moved up. Oh, he is higher. Oh my goodness. Really? Really? One does struggle to hit the boss for the second time, not even the third time. Now I'm angry! He's doing some far shots. He's very he's he's having a good a good old romp. Alright, he's going, he's going, he's going, he's going, he's going. How are you gonna hit him here? Alright. Alright, what? <laughs> I, I, my brain's trying to trying to comprehend, like, when, when did they expect you to hit him? Because I'm, I'm taking my sweet time, apparently. Let's just get a nap, nope. 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 There you go. Oh, the snipe shot. Maybe he was supposed to go back and he just never did the last cycle. <laughs> oh, there goes the glasses. Bit of an involved boss though, I'll tell you. Cause you gotta, you gotta hold him, fold him, you gotta move and aim. But that is star number four out of 287 million. Back to the face ship we go. And some starbits, why not? And some coins, why not? Now, love is not going to talk to us every single time, don't worry about that. On to the next level! Break the barrier, because we have power stars. Starship Mario can now advance, but hold on, wait a minute. 
What is this? Well, the Hungry Lumens are just on the map. You can just call them up. Easily tell how many star bits they need. No issues. Looks like you found a Hungry Lula. I hope you got a stack of star bits, because those guys can eat. Hey, yo, yeah, yo, got any tasty star bits I can snack on? So hungry, feed me delicious star bits. I need a chow on 300, then I'll transform. Well, I've got just enough, so... Feed that boy. He's very hungry. That's the stuff. Oh, so full. I think I'm about to transform. And there he goes. Off into the distance. To which he then does a branching path. Now, of course, you'd be disappointed if they didn't have an, a galaxy on there, so there you go. New galaxy as well. Back out into the overworld we go. Let's do this one. The Flip Swap Galaxy. This is a one-star galaxy. There's only one idea with it. And, uh... There's a lot of these. There's a lot of these one-star galaxies all over the place. In the first game, they didn't use them as much because most of the stars would be in those main levels. Uh, Flip Swap, uh, this concept has been used a lot because it's remarkably engrossing, I'd say. You got a little rabbit here. Give me a little one-two. Doesn't he have to, well, he says the words anyway, but by putting that there, it makes it quite clear what's going on. So, these platforms will flip over to the other color when you spin. Sounds easy enough. But now, let's complicate things by introducing platforms that kind of, like, if you screw up, you're going to instinctively use your spin to save yourself, uh, only to, you know... Kind of screws all over. Well. I do not need lives. They, they give you lives, but you don't need them. I also love these little ball reflections. They're, they're probably just textures, actually. They're probably just entirely billboarded textures. But still, it's a cool effect. So this game, I'd still say it looks great. It's just good shaders and good lighting maketh a game looketh goodeth. Uh, that's why... That's why there's a lot of older stuff for you gotta watch out for these as well, because they, they move on a dime. And sometimes you can save one from falling. So you wanna watch out. Whoop. Nah. Oh, no! I... Mm. It, it was three steps ahead, it was three steps ahead of me. Uh, very brutally as well. You know, those checkpoints, you know where they were, because you hit them, so... You gotta go all the way back. And why, yes. Is the Comet Metal still there? Well, we'll, we'll see in a moment. Yeah, let's, let's get that thing to fall. No, no, it's still there. Alright, let's wait for that thing to go, and then just long jump out. I don't trust that at all. But yeah, no, so I, I played a Super C, and uh, yeah, I got to the final boss, ran out of my continues. It's a very sad day, but I'll, I'll try it again, because I had a few, I, like level 3, I got through without taking a death, so I was like, oh, that's cool. Um, this is with the cheat code, but it's only 10 lives in this game, it's not 30. 30 makes it fairly easy. 10 lives makes it a bit tricky. Because um, then you still only get your, th your three continues effectively, so... Well, that was a fun flip-swap galaxy. You may be wondering, we're on the bottom of the, the spaceship, the phase ship. Starship Mario can now advance. What's down here? Well, Lover is all just like, you brought back a star bunny? <laughs> Know the one thing in the galaxy cuter than one of those? Nothing, that's what. Ha <laughs> ha did I get you on that one? Oh, it looks to me like that cute critter wants to tell you something. It's weird that he says that though. Like, I, I will say, Lover gets a little annoying every single time someone comes up on this. Check it out! Yeah! I'm rich. Yeah, no, well, we get more and more characters. Here's a little bunny, he goes, Shake when you're in mid-jump. Spinning will give you just a little more oomph. How do you think I jump so high, boy? Try it with me. 
Yep. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm gonna be completely honest with you. Using energy is very, very hard on the legs. So, we can go right, smash it, and get some number of star bits. It looked like 10. But, it's just there on the side. You can't continue on here. You have to, you know, commence the spin dig. Spin dig galaxy is great, and introduces us to yet another new mechanic. Also, dig a legs planet. That was a soft A. So what is this? Well, we've got drills everywhere. And on the platform, welcome to the galaxy! Still got that. Always good. This song is great. It's got that wonderful little you know, synth vibe. What a strong melody. We got the spin drill. How to use the spin drill? Well, if you see any of these craters, use the spin by shaking, and you'll come out on something on the other side. You may be wondering what happens if you spin somewhere in the, the middle. We'll see somewhere else, but ah! How did you get up here? Keep an eye out for those other lunas ahead. Try to find them, too. It's a cool little item. Unfortunately, you drop it between planets, but that's okay, because there's more to be found. We can use this to dig our way to the other side of the planet and find lots of cool little goodies. By the way, you're hearing a little... You know, a little glow? Maybe, maybe you're hearing it from a little bit closer. Oops. Wrong, wrong bit of the platform. Through to the other side. There you go. So if you hear that glow, that's where the Comet Metal is. Usually it's pretty audible at some point in the levels, so I'm going to try my best to listen out for it. Uh, is this how digging works? Just goes straight through to the other side of the planet? 100%. That's how it works. My mum used to tell me, it's like, oh, if you, if you dig straight down, you end up in England. Uh, I know the Americans would say you, you end up in China. I think England's probably a closer, a closer guess. Watch out, the platforms are going away. I gotta get some more lives, man. I gotta get some more lives. Is this just another one where you use the star and you just bolt it? How many more lives can you get? And don't say 99, because I know... <laughs> I'm pretty sure it goes up to three digits in this one. Maybe it, no, maybe it doesn't. I don't know. I like this weird chorus ring in the back. Oops. Oh. Okay. We're all fine. Oh, there he is. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> why it was just late. That's how we do be. Uh, you could be the kind of guy who uses the drill, but you don't have to. <laughs> Who has the drill? You have the drill. Yeah. Some of these levels are cool though. This is, this is a very neat thing, having the inside of this planet be filled with coins. I assume there's a little bit of a bait as well, because you would think digging in the bottom would drag you up to the top. If you just jumped up there, you wouldn't even know. It's you, Mario, right? Like our new ship? It's called a Sash Room. I'm, I'm going to lose my voice if I keep doing this. <laughs> uh, so this is the Toad Brigade Captain. This, I don't know why as well. This game takes place in an alternate timeline. We've got the Prince, who is separate. Uh, Captain Toad introduces himself again. Of course, Lumily Luma Bop, welcome to the Luma Shop. So you can buy one of these for 30 star bits, or you can be an absolute Chad and not require any of it. But who is this boss? Well, this is a uh, digger leg. You can see there's the star. Like a miniature mega leg from the first game. He digs and he spits out a drill. I hit the, I hit the, the gong. There you go. Smash the glass. He jumps up and he comes back on the other side. 
where he will then do another attack. And he jumps around, he's going to throw you off a little bit. You kind of have to gauge where on the other side of the, the circular planet uh, you should be on. Is that a fart noise? Am I just imagining things? Whoops, whoops. No, 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 let me hit you. Thank you. Now he's back on the other side. That is a fart sound! I, I, I can't believe that I never even heard that's a fart sound. That... that <laughs> Did anyone else realize that was a fart sound? This is my new favorite boss now. Whoops. Not only has he got that ding. Boom. So three hits, nothing too bad, but a nice little fun boss. And would you look at that? Three bosses and I'm 50 minutes in. Like, this game goes pretty ham on the bosses as well. I don't know, I, I, I do enjoy this game a lot. I'm just gonna keep saying that every single star. I enjoy this video game. I am happy I gave someone money just to witness this. And they put in the time and effort to create something that I enjoy. So what's in the news? Well, it's been a couple of weeks. Uh, I think the big one, and I'll actually mention this one, this is the, the sooner news. Uh, Eidos got sold from Square Enix, uh, bought by... Who's the, who's the big company? I forgot the big company, but it's uh, whoever owns... Um, uh, oh, it was, it was the group that used to be THQ Nordic. It used to be Nordic, and then they bought the THQ name. Oh, one of my little guys is back. I was wondering what happened to this little fella after he fell off. He built a ship to get back, huh? That's my crew for you. Uh, those guys are all friends of yours, right? If you ever want to visit that ship, you can get there with the warpad. Right behind the right ear. Let's actually give it a check out as well. Mostly because I'm down here already. Okay, give me the goods. Yeah! Uh, but yeah, no, so they got sold off along with the intellectual property, which is a fairly big deal because I think they announced that they're just going to work directly on Deus Ex, which I'm like, oh, goody. So, it looks like a Luma named Lubber is in charge here. Despite being a big cur, this Luma seems to be well regarded by the crew. Hi there. Hi, Mario. We are the Toad Brigade. Our goal is to find Power Stars and save Princess Peach. Worry not, because we've got it all under control. This mission is a child's play for the Toad Brigade. When that monster did us in, I fell to the ground in front of that castle. Your friends wanted to help you find all the Power Stars, so we Loomers all pulled together and built the ship to get them there. Wow. We got a pink one, why not? That spaceship is supposed to look like Mario, but if you ask me, it looks more like Luigi. I wonder how Luigi is doing. He's still back in the Mushroom Kingdom, right? It, it doesn't really look like Luigi. It's got an M. How can you how can you mess that up? The Loomis made us a ship that looks just like a mushroom. How amazing is that? Plus it actually worked and got us back here safely. That's what I'm surprised as well. Now what's the what's the starship doing all the way out there? Also, I love how um and actually I might as well show this off as well, because you can see the little daisy chains. Oh. Let's get onto the Yoshi and then uh, try and get my cursor <laughs> to light my room. Up we go. Look at this. I think you can target three things at once. The sign's going to tell us any any hidden info. Pressing all day to do the flutter jump. Go a little higher. Yes. If you hold, if you're riding Yoshi and you need to walk around, just hold down Z and press A. And we'll even do a cool aerial flip on your dismount. Wow. You knock on Yoshi with a spin. Yes. Okay, cool. Nothing about the tongue, eh? Oh well. So anyways, back onto the top of the ship and away for adventure. But yeah, no, they've, um... Yeah, no, so now... The studio and a lot of their IPs, and also it's not just a small studio, very big IDOS. Division of Square Enix. All sold off. So, I believe, um, yeah, I believe, uh, whatever the new name is, I'm just going to keep calling them THQ Nordic. Um, I believe they own, like, Saber Interactive as well, so, like, they've got a lot of, a lot of stuff there. Um, Deep Silver is under them as well. Very big studio. I think people are probably going to, like, 
you know, when people talk about like, oh, Square Enix being big, it's like, dude, I think these guys are even bigger now. But that makes me wonder, where's all the Square Enix's money going? Watch out! There we go. So I like how now we get to take on this planet without the, uh, without the, the dig. Oh, now, I got, now I gotta do this without the... Okay, have I got this? I think I've, I think I've got this. There we go. More lives for me! More lives for Blendo! Yeah, that, that makes me really wonder, like, where is Square Enix's money going? I think Square Enix as a brand name keeps getting associated with, um, the JRPGs. They're pretty big on the JRPGs, but the fact that they did, you know, get large enough and then buy, uh, Eidos and... Particularly Eidos, because that's where most of their Western division really comes from as well. That is a great fun dismount point. I like the fun angles that this keeps going out to as well, and bouncing off walls. So I think if you go here... Boing, boing. The digging is good fun in 2D. It's nice and simple, but it works. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, it's a it's a crazy piece of news, and I guess it's like any studio being bought by anyone else, it's like... I feel like it's been happening a lot in recent years, but... It's definitely a biggie. It's definitely something that, like, we should always kind of watch out. Not watch out for as in, like, to prevent happening, but just, you know, keep in mind, it's like, this studio wants Deus Ex. According to my investigation, there is a Silver Star over there. My analysis suggests that if you get five Silver Stars, it will merge into a Power Star. Hmm. I did Silver Stars in the first game, didn't I? Yeah. So now, here's a dig, and across we go. This is a bit of an interesting planet, because, uh... Technically, down goes this way. But you can still come out the top, so who knows. That was a fun spot. Nope, up the top again. Let's see if I can do this with a wall jump. Oh, oh maybe, maybe not with a spin. Down I go. I've got three of these. Where's the fourth one? Maybe right in the middle? Where's the fourth one? Or maybe it's off on the left. It is off on the left. Who could have seen that coming? There it is. And with all the power stars, or the silver stars, assembled, we have a wonderful power star that comes right out of it. Wow. Wonderful. Wunderbar, as they say. Grab that star and make it like bacon, because this is a done galaxy yet again. I'm ever wondering, where are we now? Well, first, I've got to put this, put this saw back in my hat. Mm -hmm. Alright, listen up, because I don't want to say this more than once. Mm -hmm. See that toad? He started collecting star bits for safekeeping. Thinks he's some sort of happy bank or something. Why don't you go over there and check it out for me? Well, well, what do we have here? A spin drill, huh? That's for digging? Just don't go digging through the center of your face ship. Might get a headache. <laughs> okay, my man. Let's say hi to the Luma. My job is to take energy. Oh, wow, it's the same thing, so. He keeps all the all the goodies here. You can't use them though. They're just chilling here. Sure. I don't think it is actually a a um. A drill on the on this bit, but yep. So here's this uh, toad here. He goes, Mario. Guess what? I decided to become a banker. If you give me starbits to hold on to, I can help you share your starbits with other safe paths. If you're playing solo, I'll try to get more out of you, total. 
Right now I have a hundred. Would you like to make a deposit? This is mildly important. And it's gonna be kind of curious actually when I like put down the game. See how many I get over time. But for now, 394. And I'll pull out some when uh when uh, I need to, I guess. But for now I don't think I need to spend star bits to continue on. Uh but yeah, no, that's uh that's spin dig galaxy. Go off to the side one, the right side down galaxy, or let's do the right side down. Right side down sounds very right side fun. Breaking the laws of gravity, as if we have not done that already. Now this is a this is a real fun galaxy. Might be all in 2D, like you immediately go into pipe, and it's like, nah man, 2D, straight up. But it's a real nice idea. So how it works is, you've got to, oh. oh. I wanted to be pro enough to get over there. But nah, it's not meant to be. So, what do you do? Yeah, you hit the button. Make some coins, I guess. Hey! Anyways, yeah. So, how, how does this work? Well... That was a wonderful shortcut. By the way, now, now I'm Fire Mario, straight out of the, the first game. So, Fire Mario, you shake the... Shoot fireballs. Well, the sad to know the ice flower does not make an appearance in this game. Well, not sad to know. Look at that, one up. I think this is actually where you need to go, so I'm just gonna like back up just to demonstrate the rest of the level. I just realized I was like completely blanking out on commentary, but. Oh! So how does this galaxy work? Well, you spin to win. Well, maybe it isn't. Maybe it is for... Continuing on. Notice how this enemy, the spike is still on the top. Or at least up. Which is down, now. The controls are not confusing at all, by the way. Alright, in I go. Oh yeah! I forgot there's a secondary star here. This is the end of the road for all the trash in the universe. So many boxes, it's getting way out of control if you ask me. Do me a favor and burn all of these as fast as you can. What do you say? This is the same star minigame as the first game. But this time, you, instead of the bombs, using fire flower. The trick to this one is making sure you've got your lines. You can't throw too many of these uh, on an angle. I, I, I had plenty of time, don't worry. <laughs> oh, thanks, that looks great. Here you go, take this star. Boy, I wish more folks were as hard as you. <laughs> what a wonderful bonus star. I wish I could get my eyes out for some bonus stars. I'm pretty sure, like, I haven't missed any yet. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see what I remember by, by the end of this game. Hidden Star, the Great Crate Incinerator. What a wonderful game. I wonder if uh, you can... I oh, can't even shoot this. Also, did my... Nunchuck... I, I, my Wii Remote's fine. Hold on, why is my Nunchuck... Nunchuck's fully not working, that's kind of weird. Yeah, okay, that was, that was kind of weird. Just had to unplug it. Very odd. Uh, let's, let's do the actual star while I'm at it. Yeah, uh, the other topic I've got for today, um, I don't really have too much to say about the IDOS thing other than, uh, I'm glad that, that Squirt, you know, that they're gonna finish up Deus Ex, most importantly, but I guess it's a, it's an interesting thing as well, like, these studios can just make their own games, like, you know, they, 
just because they bought all these IPs doesn't necessarily mean they have to use them. Probably does mean they're gonna use them, but... I feel like, uh, this publisher is not, like, not one to, you know, really take, well, too much creative control away from the studios because they've had a pretty good run of their current properties. Um, granted, I feel, feel like, you know, every studio is bound to, you know, have that potential. It's not always the best or the greatest. I am slurring my words too much. Um, but... I don't know. I think Square Enix definitely was quite noteworthy for tacking on extra features or effectively curating what became the Tomb Raider trilogy. Or as uh, everyone knows that uh, the Avengers and the Guardians of the Galaxy game basically dragging away Crystal Dynamics and uh, Eidos Montreal from any project that they could have potentially been working on, including a definite Deus Ex sequel that should have been happening, but wasn't. So. so yeah, so how do you do this galaxy? You got the bits of the background is pointing in the direction- actually, didn't they do this in the first game? They did do this in the first game, didn't they? In that one Bowser level. And now it's- now it's a regular mechanic! You gotta go up here and flip the switch. That's what it's called. It's called Flip Switch Galaxy. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Bit dangerous. There's two black holes here. You gotta be very careful. But yeah, note how there's gonna be levels where you're picking up lots of points. Still, still intentional. You're gonna want to make sure you've got your coins. Oh, and I'm going. I'm going. I'm going along. We got thwomps. We got womps. Oh, well. Sorry. <laughs> these are- these are thwomps. And they were chain chomps earlier. But no chain, so what does that make them? Who knows? That was a very easy way to die just there. And of course, we gotta show off the fire flower just one more time. That is an amazing way to die. I'm glad that I've caught that on stream, so you can witness how insane I am right now. Also, by the way, and it's a very sad thing, when you die, you lose your coins. The star bits, they stay, man. You die with your star bits, you know, you hold on to your star bits, but the coins, the coins are forever lost. Which is a bit of a shame, because I had like 60%. I actually wonder, I don't think there's any... I'm gonna need to look it up between streams, but I don't remember there being any use for the coins between levels. There's definitely some Hungry Lunas mid-level that will use coins, but... I don't think, uh, between levels is actually any use. There's the total counter, but... Yeah, I don't think there's anything from it. I think it's weird that you can't, you know, activate the stones while you put the Fire Flower. So many coins, man. I could have actually hit 100 coins in this level. No joke. If it wasn't for the careless mistake. Um, so yeah. So topic number two I thought would be a little interesting is, uh, so just while we're at it. Home stretch. Home stretch. And then everyone's favorite finish. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 <laughs> wait, there we go, nope, nope, okay, let's just, let's just get this out. Uh, but I thought the other, the other topic that would be good fun is, um, uh, I guess games being delisted or taken off due to, like, licensing or something. I'm a guy who plays a lot of driving games. It happens all the time. There's very few driving games that stay on on a, on sale um, all the time, which is such a shame, because I feel like there's a lot of great driving games out there. Um, but I guess it also happened with any like, you know, major music and games. Although, I, I was looking it up and I'm really surprised. Uh, Brutal Legend is a game. It's got a lot of licensed music in it, like 90 or so tracks, and they have Either they've got a perpetual license, or they did something, 
to manage to keep selling the game with lots of licensed music in it. It's been, what, like 14 years? Who knows? Fluffy Bluff Galaxy, the search for the Toad Brigade Captain. I, I guess he got lost, like one level down. Here's our grand music level. There's a lot to do in, in this uh, galaxy as well, Fluffy Bluff Galaxy. But most importantly, it introduces yet another power-up as well for us. Over there. Also, you may recognize these, uh, actually, were these guys in the first game? These little wooden, wooden fellas. Cloud step? So what is this? You turn it to cloud, Mario. Shake the Wii Remote to create up to three cloud platforms out of thin air. The cloud gives you a bit of a slowed fall, you might notice. As well as also this little three cloud balls following me. When you spin, you create a little platform. Also, I guess, uh... I guess I'm doing this. Oh! I need my coins. Oh yeah, you actually need to do this for a lot of coins. Lots of coins. There you go. Good stuff. And also a lot of coins. Now this is this is very very important because this is uh, a real cheeky bit location for anything really. Use your cloud platforms to get on top of here. Captain dis disappeared coins. If you hit that, you go right up to the top where. More coins. Did you did you say more coins? You're gonna need more coins. Lots of coins. Lumily, Lumibop, I am so hungry. Give me a hundred coins. Now unfortunately coins you don't shoot with bees, so the game automatically throws them at the Luma here. What are the coins made of? He just goes for it. Yeah, I I, I feel like it's an interesting dynamic to make some uh coin based stuff. Uh, Hungry Lumas, I guess. Anyways, this is obviously the uh, the hidden star, but let's go for it anyways. It's right here at the beginning. And it gives me a terrible way to demonstrate the cloud power-up. So yeah, so also, you cannot... Oh my gosh, I am, I am slurring so much today. You can't stand on clouds unless you are a cloud. It's a, it's a symbiotic uh, relationship, okay? You have to be the cloud to stand on the cloud. You can always pick up more clouds later on with another cloud flower. This music's great. Wonderful, bombastic theme. The same kind of, you know... I'm gonna say symphonic. I don't know if symphonic is the right term. But the, that kind of, like, you know, full orchestra... Um, instrumentation going on. Uh, the lighter wind melody. There's your star, by the way. Just climbing to the top of the tower. Nothing to say, nothing to do, but to get a star. And also have no idea how to get down because you lose your cloud power up when you pick up the star. Uh oh. Uh oh, we didn't plan for that. <laughs> Every planet has its price. Got some star bits as well. Technically, I can continue on, so... So back into the overworld, let's continue on with the Fluffy Bluff Galaxy. And the search for the Toad Brigade Captain continues again. Da 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 da... Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no... I games and, and software in general has that obsolescence and I guess that's a that's a big thing software always has its obsolescence as much as it's great that we can sell games on the internet that run through DOSBox there's gonna be that point in time when Windows ceases to be or ceases to support its old self in fact there's a degree of that now with games requiring DG Voodoo to do DirectX 8 wrapping uh, because graphics drivers are just they're not implementing DirectX 8 they're not doing it in the right way anymore Save space, and honestly, yeah, who uses Directed Tate? Only a few people are playing these older games. I still feel like, hey, if, if DG Voodoo can do it, Nvidia can do it, but, you know, it's on them. 
Oh, 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 bit of a close one there. Do you want one of these signs telling you how to jump across this gap? Like, it, it, it seems relatively obvious, apart from, I guess you gotta do the long jump. You only need one, actually you probably don't even need any clouds if you're really good. Hi there, Mr. Toad. Some crazy looking monkey grabbed the power star. I've kept him chased him up that wall by jumping off the sides until he reached the top. I couldn't keep up. Ah oh yes, having a bit of an explanation for the wall jump. Up and out we go. Out of the valley. And into space. We've got a sign here. Watch out for cosmic clones ahead. They come after you, run! And, uh, gonna have to lose your cloud, unfortunately. Maybe I should have kept it just to get the current medal there. Oh, okay, maybe I should have kept it for the current medal. Nah, I've got this. You ready? Actually, yeah, I wonder if I did just botch that up by losing the, the cloud. Nah. They can't be that cruel, can they? Oh, they totally were. They totally were. Okay, people, laugh at my pain. Maybe I could do it with a triple jump. <laughs> Maybe I should do it with a bit more of a running start. A little bit more of a running start. Can you not do it while you... Okay. <laughs> okay, now you can unlaugh at me. Easy. Uh, and, uh, software's always got their obsolescence, it's just a bit of a shame that it also ties into licensing, uh, for, for the materials as well. Look at this fella. He's about to get annihilated by the bird. There you go. Oh, Captain, chase that monkey. I just couldn't keep up, so tired. Look at these little pushmos. Triangle boy. What does triangle boy have to say? Leafy hint. Leafy hint, man. At least you've got a chin. Yeah, you can do the star bit. You know, point and shoot thing. I still have no idea. I never see anyone ever do it. But everyone likes a big swing. Everyone likes a big swing. And then you use the cloud to boost your way back up. Jumping across the, the trees with the clouds. Very nice. Oh. <laughs> Some monkey with sunglasses challenged me <laughs> to a race. You go instead. I should be in better shape. <laughs> this captain business is going to be harder than I thought, he says. Little does he know. Oh wow, it's the same bit <laughs> of dialogue. Cool. Across the clouds. Over to the other side. Let's get up here and go, whoa, it's you. Good work getting up here. They call me the chimp. Seems like you may be a worthy high climbing rival. Take the star. We'll talk later. Dude, and he does my thing. He claps and he makes stars happen. I don't, I don't make stars happen, but I clap. And he just gives you the star. He just doesn't even care. But very ominous. The chimp is the character for this game. No one cares about Lubba, everyone cares about the chimp. The chimp is cool, the chimp is passion, the chimp is behavior manifested inside our closest, uh, I guess, uh, biological sibling? The simian? I, I don't know where I'm going with this one. <laughs> so what's that? Look at that, I see you brought back some kind of floaty souvenir. It's a cloud flower? Wow, there sure is some weird stuff out there, huh? He says like the most like uninsightful stuff. I love it. Anyways, back to the ship again. How did he get here so fast? What does he even say? Get another used to handling the ship. Pretty smooth, am I right? Uh, sure, yeah. Did someone say, oh, he's not even doing the second star right now. He's not even doing it. Well, in that case... 
Starship Mario can now advance to Bowser Jr.'s fiery flotilla. And off you go. By the way, notice how every level has a Comet medal. That's right, every level gets a Comet at some point. It's absolutely wonderful, and it's, and it's one thing I love about this game. The fact that Comets just get so much more purpose. Gobble Guts, Aching Belly. I, of course you might be going, well, if there's more Comets than something that's fewer regular stars. Maybe, but... Being able to do Comets on every level is kind of neat. I like the design of this level. It's just nice and fun platforms. We've got our Goombas with the helmets. Uh, you can knock them over, but, but you can't kick them. Get shielded on the sides. We've got fire bars still. Everyone likes fire bars. We like our thwomp. Everyone likes our thwomp. Did you, did, you, did you like that bit of animation there? This, this one feels a bit obvious, doesn't it? <laughs> you can hear it a mile away, but it's good fun. If anything as well, I think everyone remembers the uh, the Bowser level from Mario Odyssey pretty decently. I feel like this is a decent precursor to it. Still got that like colored brick kind of vibe though instead of the uh, Asian pagoda. Lots of stuff around the outside. And we jump over onto a little tiny planet that was totally not that visible from here. And over here... I don't know, it's a green platform. Did you want a hint tutorial on how to jump over things, by the way? <laughs> like, the game doesn't take chill. This game has so many easy modes. In fact, actually, I, I forgot to mention, not only does it have the, uh, the DVD, that wonderful- Oh, oh, I'm going in, I'm going in, I'm going in, I'm going in. The worst part is I almost could have saved it, but it was not meant to be, unfortunately. Look at that! Don't even need the platforms. Uh, but yeah, not only does this have the DVD explaining how to plug in a Wii Remote, but also, uh, what, what happens in this game if you die multiple times at the same checkpoint? The game presents a, uh, basically a god item. The god item plays the level for you. It literally just plays it itself, but at the end of the level you pick up a Bronze Star. The Bronze Star acts like a power star, but you'll be judged by having it in your possession. But technically, you can beat the game by not playing any of it, by constantly dying, and hopefully not running out of continues. Made it this far, huh? I won't need my dad's help to finish you off. I got a big surprise for you. <laughs> I don't even know. Protect your belly ache bulges. What a wonderful thing to say. Anyways, I love this boss. Everyone loves this boss. I don't care. Big dragon. Big, big bendy dragon snake. With, with stomach problems. How relatable, he's just like me. Now I'm angry, and he's always angry. I was gonna say like, could I just hit that like right away? This is the ultimate test for Dolphin. I'm pretty sure these shadows are not quite right. Sorry Dolphin. So you gotta wait for him to charge into the ground, dig right in. And then try and get as many of these as he can before he, uh, well, I guess I hit three of them, so... He's got six of them on him. Now I'm angry again. He's a bit of a quick bosser, that's my only issue with him. The music is great, though. Very frantic, very, very, uh, energetic. The string-only music is, uh... Definitely a big highlight of the soundtrack. So he keeps uh, clipping into himself, so that's the fun part. I did get one on the other side though. Whoops. Let's see if I can do a pro jump to try and hit wherever the bulge is. Nope, that was not a pro jump. Hold on. Take two on the pro jump. Uh, da -da 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 -da, where is it? Okay, he's really far away, man. It's really far away. Oh, he's going in. He's going in. Oops. Oh, oh, I cannot get it now. Got him. Easy. I couldn't even see it. <laughs> so obviously, what happens? Uh, well, he, um... It's vaporized? 
Or snapped or something. Only one can survive. Anyways, I guess this game still has the grand stars, but they don't hype it up as much. It's in a different key again. I don't know what they did. I Maybe it was re-recorded this time. There's a bit more horn to it. But, I don't know what's with them doing stuff in a different key to how they did it in the first game. Or why they're even trying to use the same compositions in some bits. But then picking up a star uses the same music. Now, this is the same animation, but where does the grand star go? It goes out into space. And just kind of forms a, a portal. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay. Listen, they tried. Oh, I got another comment medal, so that's cool. And some coins. Sweet. So sweet. Wow, look at that. You did it. You brought back a grand star. That's great. Now we can use the power of the grand star to travel to another world. We're one step closer to retrieving your special one, buddy. Through space and time. To an unknown world we go. I'm jiggling just thinking about it. Ready, Captain? I'm not... I don't want love of jiggling. Can, can we ban that? Can we make it illegal? And the ship goes onward into the void where Mario is crushed into a million, billions and billions of atoms. Maybe trillions. I don't know how many atoms a human being is made out of. Pro <laughs> I'm gonna sound so stupid. It's more, it's more than trillions. It's, it's like a couple of 10 to the 20s or something. Couple of those. Looks like there should be plenty of power sides here. Go ahead, we're all counting on you, Captain. So yeah, through the portal, uh, there's another world, basically. So, let's continue on to Puzzle Blank. One of my favorite galaxies. Again, I, I don't know. I think this game's filled with creativity. Never mind we've been going through galaxy after galaxy with new ideas and new mechanics. Let's just keep going. Here we have the Puzzling Picture Block. A wonderful platforming galaxy, but full of ground pound related puzzles. And some wonderful music that does get a bit reused throughout the game, unfortunately. Yes. So how do you do this? Well, you gotta ground pound the, the puzzle block. There's, there's buttons all over the place. Buttons and do that. I love this uh, violin. No, I do not need an explanation as to how to ground pound. Granted, though, there's no sign telling you how to ground pound right now. Uh, oh, the camera's having a fun time here. I wonder if you could actually, like, jump it. Oh, it's close, but... How are you supposed to do this? Well, you go up to the top of the Jenga block and just go... Straight down. Whoa. Oh. Ah. Uh. of an interesting moment. Uh, quick, go quick. Oh, I'm disappointed. I'm very disappointed. There was a wiggler in the way. There was a wiggler in the way. That's what I get when I'm taking him out, though. What does those buttons do? Just more star bits? There was one with music notes. Probably gonna give me more one-ups. I need every single one-up. Even though I think you lose them when you turn off the game. Still. Very important. Everyone likes saw blades cutting the planet in half. I mean, don't you? It's pretty cool, ain't it? Oh! Maybe this is my problem. I'm so hungry, would you give me 70? 70, really? Yeah, that might be my loss. There's a moment I, I go on to the next plant. Oh! I don't know if this is gonna be enough though. I don't, I don't think it's enough. I think there's a lot of coins in here though. I'll tell you that. Oops. Oh. These triangles like throw you off a little bit. Yeah. Oh, 58. I don't. Uh, it's cutting it a bit close. It's cutting it a bit close. Couple more coins there. Uh, 
know, unless there's coins at the very top. There's one coin at least. Oh! 68. 68. I think I'm gonna have to let this Luma down. I'm gonna have to come back for him. Oh, no, I'm a god. I'm a god. Don't need it. Don't need it. I've got a huge coin craving now. And he channels away. There goes the coins. That's the stuff. I'm so full. I'm gonna transform. And he slapped me in the face 50 million times with those signs with the coins on it. Does this plant look a little familiar to you? This is, uh, maybe point number three of why people have a bit of a interesting reception to this game. I like it. I don't know, but some people, some people I can understand, like, don't quite like it. Check, check, um, uh, this out. This is, uh, the Bugaboo boss from the first game. Now I'm angry! Yeah, so they've reused the Bugaboom boss. They, they literally took the planet, copy-pasted it in here. Um, it's a little different though. Uh, you used to have the bee uh, mushroom, now you've got the cloud. Which means these, uh, these uh, bits of water actually mean something a bit more than uh, they used to. Well, the, well, actually, you used to lose, you lose the B all the time as well, but... It also means it's actually a bit of an easier affair. Kinda interesting, just like fighting the boss differently. And... Now I'm angry! Just gotta say it again. Uh, but also, I feel like contextually, this is a galaxy full of ground pound puzzles. I, I feel like having the Bugaboom as a boss is very nice contextually. Alright, can I get him? Easy money. That bug is not gonna bug me anymore. I'll tell you that. And wouldn't you know, he had a star on him. I know. Very surprising. You get a star. I get a star. You don't get the star, it's all mine. Now the sky's a little bit of a different color because this is world too, man. This is this is the real stuff. Bugaboom's back. Well, he was back, he's not back anymore. Now, we get a choice of two galaxies. You only have to get one star in each galaxy to continue on. Uh, hey, it looks like there's a few changes to the world map. Let's check it out. Okay. So now he's gonna just tell us a thing. That's how he came back with you, right? He sure loves delivering mail. Oh, there he goes. Go ahead and humor him. Maybe he's got something for you. Alright, as a lover's just hinted at a couple of things, but first of all, we've got the male toad. He's right here at the beginning. You'll never lose him. You'll you'll be able to see him all the time. Especially because you're standing right here every single time you get a star. Whereas in the, the first game, it's like, I don't know, you get back to the dome, you wouldn't necessarily see the letters coming. Princess Peach included a one-up. Oh, even when she's kidnapped, the princess is so so thoughtful. Wow, 36 stars already. So what did Lava mention on the world map? Well, whoosh! Now you can actually see the worlds at a distance. This is the grand world map. So with the power of the grand star, we can travel grand distances across grand space and grand time. Then we can travel to another grand world when you're ready, so... Um, yeah, you can you can view all the levels at a glance, which is great, because you get to see, uh, you know, all the stuff down here. And if you really want to as well. It's going to tell me off for pressing A. Well, okay. But it's kind of cool just being able to see what all the galaxies are just at a distance and it makes you realize like you know the adventures you go through i think a lot more than whatever the menu in the first game was which only really told you the levels by name uh also very importantly gotta break that every chance you can it's 10 star bits but it's 10 star bits i'll never get again so back to the puzzle plank we go the puzzling picture block yet again pot dough Da 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 Yeah. Uh, down I go. I'm gonna take out the Wigglers this time. I'm gonna do a redemption arc. I'm gonna get the... Get the music notes properly this time. I 
want to hear my Mario World overture. Oops. <laughs> I hate myself. I do not like. Oh, I'm gonna assume it just gives you a one up. It probably does. Oh. So, anyways, uh, and it probably wasn't quite clear uh, that I did it this uh, last time. But, uh. Whoops. Whoops. There we go. One different coins. Oh, I, I got mid air. I've juggled. There's so many coins though, it's very hard to just lose all your health like that. So, hit that all the way on the other side and wouldn't you know, there's wonderful platforms for me to climb to get to the star. And we shall continue on with the level from here on out. Now, you gotta act quick sometimes because these buzzers are gonna cut down everything, including the platform that you were on, including this platform with the Comet Metal. I love how, yes, it, it goes into space. Well, I guess everything is going into space. Down is a very interesting direction right now. Because it's just like, I don't know, gravity is about mass. So that means whatever is below Mario is very heavy. But, you know, when he moves half, you know, twice away from the center of the, of the mass here, he's not like four times lighter. Is that, is that the equation? Something like that. Watch out for the little, uh, whatever these things were. Oops. Oops. This is gonna be a bit interesting. Oops. There we go. And then you gotta cut it in the right direction. It's gonna cut you off. You gotta watch out. And across we go, and boom. Now, Lumily, Luma Bop, I will skip the Luma Shop today. Let's check this out. It's a little puzzle block. You gotta ground pound the, the right bit of the puzzle to knock it into the right place. It's a very nice idea. And also kind of cool that, uh... I was gonna say that the gravity works okay, except I seem to hit diagonally there. It tries its best. It tries its best. You can see the camera's trying to push towards the center though. Wow, would you look at that? Uh-oh, it's boss time! It's rematch time, you remember this guy from the first game? That's right, I can do the same spinning ground pound attack to try and home in on them. Or just not get it. Anyway, whoop, I, wow, okay. Oops, oops, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cry if I die. Come on. There you go. You killed my son, now I'm angry. What a hard boss. Very difficult. I love it though. Other than I guess, yeah, didn't we see this in the first game already? That's two Reeves bosses. This is the first hour and a half of the game. Or well, two hours. One hour 38 into the stream. And uh, yeah, that's two Reeves bosses. And also we reused the box blowing up minigame, didn't we? Yeah, there's a bit of that in this game. There's a bit of, yeah, you've seen it already kind of, kind of stuff, but yeah, it's all right. It's not about, it's, well, I guess it would be nice to not reuse some, some, uh, gameplay ideas too much, but, yeah. Well, that's Puzzle Plank Galaxy. On to Boulder Bowl Galaxy. You gotta have Galaxy at the end. It's not, it's not perfect unless you've got Galaxy. Now, Boulder Bowl, again, we introduce a new gameplay idea. The Rock and Roller Dillo. Ready for it? Is ever going to show it? There you go. What a wonderful item. A brand new item, even. Take a look. Mwah. Delish. Yes. Did we do this music already? We did, <laughs> didn't we? Listen, we're reusing music, we're reusing levels. So defeat all the dudes, and you shall reveal. The Rock Mario, this is a very interesting one. You shake, and Mario goes into a boulder, to which then you show these toads you mean business, and he is so in shock. Whoa, you made that look easy. We 
get a little comet medal for our troubles. You can change your camera view with the D-pad. Oh, what a nice thing to do. And also then, oh, okay. Like, I swear, you cannot see that from this side. So, good on him. But the boulder is a real, like, interesting power-up. It's very easy to, you know, knock yourself off the edge of the level. But then they also uh, combine it with these little bowling sequences. So, the bridge falls down. There's uh, six pins. You get as many star bits as you can, and then you do the jump. Just as- oh, 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 No! Ah. I wasn't too sure how I got the height. It was on me for not ground pounding, though. It was, it was entirely on me for not ground pounding. <sighs> that, one, that one is uh, on me, and one that I'm gonna have to view the replays on. Try and wonder how I got that much crazy height, but sure. But yeah, how many galaxies have I gotten into in this part? I guess I've probably gotten to a few um, on the first stream of Galaxy 1, but... I don't know, I like the idea of just, you know, one or two stars and that's it. I have not done more than two stars in a single galaxy. I kind of like this idea of just constantly hopping between gameplay mechanics. Even if they do result in these more linear levels, I think it's a it's a trade-off. Well, not not more linear levels, but levels that don't really open up because they don't branch out. They only house one star. Oh, there's that Rock Mario just met his maker, met his match. Maybe not his maker. <laughs> And I should not keep doing that. I should not keep jumping. Because I keep thinking, I keep thinking you can cancel the bolt, the boulder. But no, I think it's literally, it ends when it ends. And if you jump, you jump. I was mashing Z, I was mashing A. I realized I ran out of buttons. That's the whole reason why they've got these boundaries here. Or the thing in the middle, which I could be using. Instead, I'm like, nah, man, I'm good. Just gotta take on this guy the old-fashioned way. Oh, there's a second one as well. Get him! Okay. Old-fashioned way. Yeah, I, uh... I feel so much better after <laughs> after a bit of a rest, though, I'll tell you that. Like, uh... A little bit of a break from streaming, a little bit of a break from, I guess, any commitment. Just having that time off is always good. And even if you get sick, uh, you know, making, uh, making the best rest you can is always a good thing. Yeah, no, it was the worst to get a, to get a, you know, sick thing, because I was just like, oh, man. I did really want to stream this last week, so... But, you know, you put your health first. Unfortunately, this giant chain jump is too much for Rock Mario. I would... Oh! Oh, oh Look at that! Oh my gosh! Ah, yes. Alright, you ready? Here we go. Oh, there's a one-up. One-up. Everyone got a one-up. There we go. There's a lot of these bonus rooms scattered around the game, is there? Well, let's break this and continue on our merry way. Luma Lee, Luma Bop, what are you hinting at again, Luma Shop? Have I been counting the bosses? I don't think so. I think I've lost count. There's been quite a few bosses already. Let's check this guy out. I love this, the look of this guy. I was gonna say like fairly detailed even though I know these spikes are very simplistic. But he's got an exposed butt, so... I feel bad for him, man. He's trying his best. 
He's got to lose some weight somehow, though. Oh, he comes at you with the, the old one-two. And, uh, of course, hitting you is not fun. Actually, I... Oh, yeah. Oh, this was rocking. Oh, but then he trips over. Oof! I love this, like, car motor sound. There we go, there he goes again. Oh. One more drift. Oof. He's got that wonderfully fuzzy butt as well. Snapped again. Everyone's getting snapped. It's not very healthy. Is it the Power Stars corruption? There's no, like... It's not really a great world reason why Mario is defeating a lot of these giant monsters on tiny little planets all over the place. But, sure. You know. All in all, hard day's work to get another Power Star. One in the bag and one in the... Star Generator. Rock and Roller Dillo. Oh, look at that! We can continue on to a lot of other levels as well. Lots of levels in World 2. You seem to have brought back a... was that? A rock? Uh, yeah, good work there, pal, I guess. Well, looks like we got the room for it, so I don't mind having it around. I have a letter for you! Remember me? I got a new game over in the Fluffy Bluff Galaxy. Come on by and we'll do the whole introductions thing. I want to see what kind of game skills you got. So, yeah, this introduces, a, uh, I guess, just the occasional star offered by the chimp. So if we follow the chimp's instructions, then we get that, first of all. And then we back out. Back to Fluffy Bluff. You'll see that there's now... A little icon, and an extra star, up for grabs, back on Fluffy Bluff. So, we've now got the Chimp Stomp Challenge. It's like Chip's Challenge, but a little bit, a little bit different. This is a, I guess, a kind of interesting challenge uh, level, I guess? A challenge star, if you will. We arrive back at the beginning of the level. Same as it ever was. Chip is like, finally! Jeez. It's like a minute ago. Say hey, I'm the greatest game player in the galaxy. They call me the Chimp. Nice mustache. I've got the high score of 10,000 on this game here. Pretty simple. Stomp the enemies and grab coins. If you can match or top my score, I'll give you a star. And some respect. Maybe. So you game or what? You're going for 10,000 points. Good luck, you're gonna need it, pal. So how do you do it? Well, you got 120 seconds, and you gotta chain your jumps. Chaining them is the best way, but also seeing if you can pick up the coins at the end helps a bunch as well. It's not too bad though, there's plenty of targets to jump on. And you can use a spin to give yourself an extra bit of height. Starbits could be 10, I believe, yeah? Yeah. There's a few Starbits around, but not too many that you really rely on them. Uh, that auto plays for you as well, just bouncing on those guys. It looks a little janky, and that's because I didn't even do it. Oh. Uh, a bit of an odd direction, for sure. Okay, let's see how many uh, enemies are up here, because... Oh, yeah, plenty. Oops. Oops. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Ah, uh, skip him. Uh, skip him. Did you need more one-ups, man? There's plenty of one-ups. Uh, obviously you're not supposed to continue on, so... Let's see if there's some more... More points just lingering around. 
It's a fun little challenge. I guess getting into like practice jumping on enemies is a wonderful skill that they don't actually yeah. test too much in the game. Uh, yeah, I, I realized there was a bit of a gap there. Yeah, are there any coins on the back here? No, they they got rid of the pipes, uh, but they did add this mushroom, which gives you a thousand points. That's cool. Well, uh, fantastic. That's 13,800 points. You might be an amazing rival to my own skill. Here's your star. Claps it into existence. And then he was T-posing on me. Well, you got a star. That was a fun star, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 So that makes 16 whole stars, and the galaxy is complete with a crown, because that's all three stars. Of course, it's not counting the comets just yet. We'll get there. Well, now you found quite a few of those power stars, huh? We'll keep track of how many you got. That's it. The sign next to the helm right there. It'll also show you the whereabouts of some other power stars if you're interested. Uh, so, yeah, pretty much, again, if you want another easy-to-view list, here is the easy-to-view list. You can easily see all the worlds, all the stars you've gotten. Easy enough. No qualms about it. Let's continue on. To... High Tail Falls Galaxy, because Boulder Ball only had one star available, are you kidding? Or maybe there's a secret one and I just have no idea and I completely ignored it, whoops. Hot Steppin' Dash Pepper. Would you look at that, and again, yet another gameplay mechanic, just chucked at us, just, just here you go, have some fun. It's, it's a level for level's sake, but it's a real neat one. Mostly because we've got this Mario World music back again. This game really loves its Mario World in the same way that Mario 3D Land came afterwards and really loved its Mario 3 with its Nuki Tail. What does this guy say? Climb fast! Well, you can try your best, but you can only go so far until you eat the pepper. And then Yoshi goes wild! Absolutely bolts. Oh, he, he went a bit far as well. And uh, yeah, that's the that's the pepper. It lets you run up walls. You're going really fast. You don't you don't want to drop it too much. All right, let's see. I, I wanted to get the little pointer. If you follow the coins, you end up reaching this ledge. But actually, I want to see actually what's at the very, very top. I remember there being something really neat at the top. Alright, off he goes, off he runs. Up, down I go, down I, down I fall. I like the music getting faster as well. Think about it, they had to do three music tracks for this one. Oh, there you go, no, I'm going, I'm going. Yosh, it's going a bit quick. Look at this guy! Oh, your skill has brought you very far. Quite a view, is it not? From here, it's clear how important every coin truly is. He's just here. He, he's just here to tell you that coins are cool. But then there's so many star bits. I don't even think there's any coins. Oh, there's some coins in this level, but still. Everyone likes falling platforms, though. They're, they're that brown slaty color, so of course they fall. There you go. Oh, look at that! There's another one of these wonderful I'm getting too many lives platforms. Oops. No, Yoshi, 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 Yoshi. Maybe I should be jumping on these guys. Oh, maybe not. No, my lives! My lives, no! Alas. It was never meant to be. 
Alright, up the Hightail Falls we go. Oh, oh, uh, uh, I'm, I'm a goner, I'm a goner. Hold on, see you, Yoshi. Uh, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Okay. That would that would have been bad news bears. That would have been real bad. Uh yeah. How many coins did I need? I'm okay, okay. I'll accept it. It's got a huge coin craving. I'm glad that guy hinted at coins, because otherwise I wouldn't have collected exactly the amount. I knew ahead of time, of course. Yeah. Well, there goes the Luma. What does he create? Oh my gosh, a new planet. I do be over there, and I do be going over there. Yeah, beginning of May has got some exciting stuff. I actually have not looked up what games are coming out, but I can tell you. Uh, also, what are these things? We've got frog things? You can eat them and nothing happens. You won't even get uh, accused of murder. Think about it. They just vanish. And they're, they're running around with all these stars. Which you can't eat, by the way. They just keep getting them. I said don't leave with your stars, but... And the power of the stars forms... A star! Wow! That's a bit of an interesting platform, isn't it? Just going on the side there. So, there you go. Grab the star. Yoshi's happy. And we return to the scene of the crime, the face ship, if you will. That makes 17, count them, 17 stars. And the game has been saved, for now. Uh, let's get the other star while we're at it. And then I'll see if I can do the Hungry Luma. And if I can, then I'll do it on stream and then I'll, I'll be it for tonight. Ah, oh, dude, I, I'm still loving this game. I'm just loving how it's just quick fire, like, here's all these different mechanics. I feel like doing just like a, a very small retrospective, just, not retrospective, you know what I mean? Like, just like going back through the, through the levels, kind of talking about all the mechanics. But on top of that, like, this game, again, it hits it so hard on the visuals, it hits it so hard on the, um, on the music. The gameplay is just like rich of ideas, like, it's crazy how well Mario Galaxy 2 as a sequel is. The only downside to Mario Galaxy 2 is that it's the sequel to Mario Galaxy 1. It's going to, like, have people, I think slightly unfairly, but slightly fairly as well, like, say, a lot of its strengths are because it's a sequel to an already good game. But I feel like there's enough to it. There's enough, like, unique aspects about it. There's enough, um, you know, toying around with new mechanics. They've already gone, like, I was gonna say, they've already used Yoshi a bunch, but like, legit, I mean, like, this is the second galaxy using Yoshi, and yet it's doing something a bit different with Yoshi. Uh, but on top of that, we've got the rock mushroom, we've got the, um, the cloud, uh, flower. The fire flower showed up in one level, the, um, the drill, the drill counts. Like, they're, they're throwing all these, like, fun mechanics right at you, right off the bat. Got many more coins this time. You may be wondering where the Comet Medal is. It is, uh, there. It's not a fun spot for it, I will say that. Especially because, uh, it's very easy to fall back into the Abyss. You just gotta make sure you, you swing out a little bit. Alright, around we go. Now, one last go. One last go to get the star. Oh! Oh! Ah! <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> that is the most bizarre way I think I've ever saved that one. That's the second time I've had to do a save there. Someone's gonna be, like, really judging how on earth I've been playing this. And I don't blame you, to be honest. Yeah. 
think about it. This is only star, what, 18? Yes, yeah, it's gonna be 18. Like, you know, there's still another 102 in the game. Oh. I don't think I have it. Oh, oh. Nah. Oh, I nearly did it again. I nearly did it again. I wonder if you can actually jump it. Nah, because you, cause you don't get the spin. You don't get the spin. You gotta do it legit. Easy. First try. Yoshi's so happy. What a happy fella. And the star goes away into infinity. Never to be seen again. And some coins. Why not? Okay, one last star. One last star for the stream. Let's get that Hungry Luma, because we've got both stars there, one star there. 700, oh, do I have 700? I probably have, se yeah, 100%, I've got 700 in the bank. In the bank, I've got the stocks. Looks like you found a Hungry Luma. Yeah, okay, hold on. Wait, 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 oh, not you nail toad. Bank toad. He added eight on the total, wow. Imagine being a bank and just, just being like, yeah, no, I've got to take out, like, most of it. 700. 700 big ones. Count them. Hey you, you got your star bits? I want to eat all the star bits. It's not messing with any. At least you can get star bits in here in case you accidentally miss with one. That's the stuff I'm about to transform. And off he goes. Into space. Never to be seen again. A new galaxy was born. Wow. Kind of oddly, this galaxy does not, like, link into the next barrier. Which, by the way, 16 stars. I do require you to at least do most of the stars in order to continue on right now. Maybe later on, once the comments are active, it'll be a bit different. But until then... We got the Honey Bloom Galaxy with Bumble Beginnings. You may be thinking, uh, yeah, okay, cool. The B, the B is back, but it's the B as you've never seen it before. I, oh, oh my gosh! Sometimes my computer has a has a hard time handling whatever I say. This is a bit of a. I guess a music uh, choice is a weird one. It's um, it's the same as the Honey Hive Galaxy, but you've got this flute. You have the the trumpet with the mute. It's a wooden flute as well. It's not just a not just an old fashioned flute. Look at these weird little passageways you can go down. There's a bee here. Oh, like yeah, would you be able to kind of help us find the power star? I like these uh, boards to indicate where you got a wall jump. Someone's gonna say, "Oh, it's so linear," but it's just like, I don't know, man. It, it, it's it's activating neurons. Uh, Mario decided to T pose on me, so now you can be the B. But in a two D scenario, in fact, this whole part, like you just go left and right here. Nothing really too weird, and don't touch the water. So as the bee, you can land on clouds, because you're light as a feather, I guess. You can hover, you can fly up. You gotta make sure you don't run out of bee. Other than that, it's the same as the first game, basically. Look at that, just hiding in there. You got these enemies that are just... so obnoxiously in the way. Whoop. Quick dodge. But that's what they're there for. I think, in the end, I don't recall any level that's going to be absolutely annoying. Whereas, like, Galaxy 1 kind of had, like, a few of those for me. Still, though. I, I feel like if Galaxy 1 is, like, a nearly perfect game, I feel like this one is a lot closer to, to fully perfect. Give a little bit. It's got, uh, weird things going on. Oh. Like, whatever, whatever these are. Oh, this is a, that's a toughie when you don't have any... Oh, look at look at these weird things. 
And they're all around the bottom, so you can't even fall out. You're just gonna bounce on them. I'm, I'm gone. This is, what is this, Sonic Spinball? Sonic Mini. Up. 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 No, you thought I was a complete goner. Well, I'll tell you, I'm only partially a goner. Ops, ops, ops. I feel like I could actually fall off and die. How about let's avoid the enemies? Is it a good idea? I think it's a good idea. Okay, enemy, just like not. Easy. Easy. First try. Everyone likes these poles, which. Oh gosh! They brought them back! They brought back the fuzzies! Nintendo seemed to have a fascination with bringing back fuzzies and everything after, like, one of the new Super Mario Brothers games. It's in all the new Super Mario Brothers, it's in 3D Land, it's in 3D World. And in this game, I'm very certain it's going to Odyssey at some point. Seriously, someone, someone wanted to bring back the fuzzies so hard, so... Around to the next side of this cube. Watch out! Spiky plant. It's not even piranha plant. It's just plant that spikes and kills people. It doesn't even have a mouth or anything or face. It's the, one of Mario's most fearsome enemies. The faceless plant. And then you've got these things. They're like a little petal and they try to bore you after a bit. Man, Honey Bloom is a dangerous place. And it's still got black holes. It's, the black holes are still trying to suck you in. I kind of like seeing this little window into the other side of the level, though. Like, it's a bit of a journey, this level. You keep going. It's as, uh... I was going to say as traditional as a Mario level can get, but... I don't even think it's that traditional. It's pretty pretty as, as, uh, as, it, as it goes, so... Uh, yeah, no, cool level. Really like it. Really good fun. Well, 19 stars is a wonderfully uh, even number to end things off. And I got a 1-up. Oh snap, it does continue on. I don't even have to do the level. Good on him. Good on him. So, let's head back to the, well, first Nail Toad. What have you got to say? Mario, I have a letter. Wow, even we can get to the star in Honey Bloom Galaxy. Here's a 1-up. Wow. There was a 1-up attached to the letter. I have 49 lives after this two-hour stream. He's found seven more star bits. Good on him, so... You gotta donate. You gotta... You gotta... Get that interest rate. Maybe it's based on the number of stars you get. I know you're gonna need him, so... So... Anyway, I think that's it for a stream, just to go back through the through the stream, uh, or th rather through what uh, I went through. Let's go back to the very, very beginning, just to show off what was. So started off in the Sky Station Galaxy, two stars, one involving killing an egg plant, an egg piranha plant, I guess. Um, the other one involving these Banzai bills all over the place. And then we got Yoshi, and then used it to kill a cloud. I would kill a Lakitu on a cloud, a very big one, the lightning one, if anything. There's the Spin Dig Galaxy where we fought, uh, not Mega Leg, uh, Digger Leg. That was the one. Good stuff. Also, Silver Stars. Then we had these flippy swap, flippy platforms that would flip over all the time when you spun. We had this one with the crazy gravity, as well as also helping the trash compactor guy destroy his boxes. Yet again, he really needs to get a better job. Or at least. Some some explosive devices. Then we had to headed to Fluffy Bluff Galaxy, got the cloud mushroom and jumped around a bunch and found the Toad Brigade, as well as also fed a hungry Luma a bunch of coins. Uh, and then also the Chimps Challenge. There was Bowser Jr.'s fiery flotilla involving the big dragon that I forgot his name. I'm gonna call him Gobbler. It was about that. It was pretty close to that. On the other side of the world, there was the Puzzle Plank where I fought Bugaboom again. And then also the other... Bugaboom enemy, the one with the sun. Yeah, okay. Uh, Boulder Ball, where uh, the rock mushroom was, and I fell off a bunch. 
good stuff. Uh, Hightail Falls, where again, there was another Hungry Luma for the coins, as well as also the chili pepper that made Yoshi run really fast, like he ate very bad curry. Actually, it probably is exactly that. And lastly, Honey Bloom, where I missed a secret star. Wow. Think about it, this is... Okay, fine, let's get that secret star, let's do it. Let's do it, someone's gonna hate me on this one. Let's make that around 20. So, there exists a star somewhere in here. But where? I actually didn't even notice the star. I'm gonna assume it's based around the star bits. Oh, sorry. Yeah, the star bits. There's so many star bits, it's probably another. Is it a Hungry Luna inside the Hungry Luna level? That'd be an interesting one. Uh, I have a theory. Oh. It's kind of interesting that this music is reused, though, with the different instrumentation, though. There we go. I didn't go up here. Well, I guess it's not Hungry Loomer, it's just, it's up here. The camera depth is kind of interesting. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Well, there you go. One more, just for the record books. And I am back here at the bottom. How come? The secret wall jump hidden in the Honeybloom Galaxy. That was 48 seconds. I don't even think it saves your times anywhere. I think it's just there. So, looks like we have a bee on board. Keep it away from me. I'm allergic. If I get stung, I'll swell right up. I do like watching him, though. Think he knows any good bee tricks? That was a very happy bee. No, of course. Yes! I was going for the star bit, so... Okay, let's donate these again. I know, that was on me. I would like to make a deposit, thank you very much. Whoosh! Ripe old number 511. Let's see if you, you see Bank Toad. Speaking of 511, that'll be the Wednesday after the next stream, which is gonna be on a Monday. Because that is, unfortunately, the end of the stream. I would like to thank you all so very, very, very much for watching. And uh, if you did enjoy this stream, you can follow on Twitch uh, or subscribe on YouTube, uh, or you can just not, and you can just chill. I'm, I'm here next week. If you don't close the tab, you're gonna see the next stream. So that'd be interesting. Well, actually, if you're on YouTube, you're not gonna see it. So uh, it's okay. Um, yeah, no, I'm really enjoying this game. Uh, just, it's such a blast to play through again. Um, and, uh, yes, I'll actually be finishing it this time around and not just getting halfway through. Actually, I need to look up. Where did I end last time? I think I got around, like, 70 stars. It was, it was pretty far in. I did, like, 24 videos, so I think it was about 24. It was alright. Uh, but anyways, uh, stay well. Don't be like me last week. And actually stay well. Eat your greens. Don't stay up too late. Look both ways before you cross the road. Uh, and uh, don't do what I did and buy a huge lasagna and have no idea how you're going to eat it in a reasonable time. I, I, I need help. <laughs> Alright, have a good one everyone.